I love discovering new fish, new species, and in this case, new coloring. I was searching the web for different types of angelfish when I came across a blue angelfish. Now personally, I love angelfish, but I find the readily available angels a bit boring. They usually come in the same colors, and for that reason, I don't really keep them. But I never knew they could be blue. I started looking for blue angelfish and purchased a blue pinoy off someone in Craigslist. Needless to say, it was not blue at all, and you would have to look really closely just to see a hint of blue. It was mostly gray. Then I checked out Live Aquaria, but if you check out the so-called blue angels on Live Aquaria, they're mostly white with blue tips, not that impressive. And on top of that, the shipping prices are really high. So those were the two first places that I checked out. Then I just kept looking at different websites that came up when I googled blue angelfish, and somehow I stumbled upon angelmania.net. Now let me just make it clear, I have absolutely no relationship, business or casual with angelmania.net. In fact, I was very, very skeptical when I purchased the angel from here, and I'll get to that in a minute. But first, I'll walk you through the steps I took when buying from them. First, you have to go to the website and choose the types of blue angelfish that you like. The first pro I have about this website is that the types of angelfish that they have to choose from are amazing. Then you add them to your card, kind of like eBay or Amazon, and check out. Another pro I liked about this website is that there isn't a long sort of setup process. I personally hate when they ask you for a lot of info just to set up an account. I just want to choose my stuff and go. Now those are a few pros, but my first con is the payment process. It's not horrible, but unlike major businesses, you just can't type in a credit or debit card and be on your way. They only accept checks, money orders, or PayPal payments. And if you use PayPal, I believe there's a $20 extra charge or something like that. You basically have to send this business that you've never met for a money order or check through the mail before um, they send you your fish. This sounded really sketchy to me, but they actually had documentation on their website of previous purchases and reviews, so I decided to take the risk and go through with my order anyways. I went to the USPS, bought a money order, I mailed it to Mr. Gordon, that took about a week, five days, so so far we're at six days from actually sending our order. Then since it was close to the holidays, I had to wait for Christmas and New Year's to pass by. Two weeks, and then my package was sent. So, so far, we're at about three weeks since I left my order and two days of shipping. For a total of three weeks and two days. Mr. Gordon actually has a preset schedule for when he ships out fish. It's only on Mondays, so he only ships out about four times a month. And those were some of the cons I had with this experience. You have to go to the USPS, buy a money order, ship the money order, wait for it to get delivered, then they have the green light to ship. But you have to wait until the next ship date, and then two more days on top of this for priority shipping. Needless to say, the wait time was a super duper drag, but I do understand and sympathize with Angel Mania. It's a small business and they have extremely fair prices, and on top of that, if you order $65 or more, they'll waive your shipping fee. One time I made a dummy order on LiveAquaria.com just to see how much it would be, and the order was $50, shipping was something like $40, which was just ridiculous. So the wait and purchasing process is a little tedious, but in my opinion, very worth it. I received my Blue Angel Fish and they're about the size of a nickel. I got six that I ordered and Mr. Gordon threw in an extra Blue Angel Fish, which I thought was pretty cool. Unfortunately, one of the fish didn't make it, but I wasn't about to complain since the guy gave me a free fish. The other six were very energetic and full of life and they were tiny, but I could see a lot of rich blue tint on them and they definitely have a lot of potential. I was so skeptical about them actually being blue, but I have to say that I was very satisfied with my purchase. Mr. Gordon is pretty good about keeping you updated, sticks to his agenda, and provides really beautiful angelfish. Again, the payment method is a little choppy, but it's so worth it. My advice would be to go on the website and take a look at the next shipping date. Remember, it usually falls on a Monday, and you're going to want to make sure you send a payment at least a week ahead of time. Uh, depending on what kind of shipping you get, this would hopefully minimize the time that you have to wait. Best of luck to you if you decide to try Angel Mania, I'm sure you'll be very satisfied. They don't endorse me whatsoever, but feel free to tell Lee that Gus sent you. I'm sure he'd appreciate your interest, and who knows, maybe you'll get an extra Blue Angel Fish in your order. Definitely let me know how it goes for you. And if you have any questions or comments in regards to this video's topic, or anything else that has to do with aquariums, uh, please feel free to let me know. I will definitely give you credit if I use your input. My name is Gus, and this is my aquarium info.